video is brought to you today by Ghost Tags. This is my own company that I started because I wanted a glow in the dark air tag case. These things are awesome. You can stick them on your backpack, on your dog's collar, and you will be able to find it at night. We've got two colors, blue and green. They've got great reviews. Go check them out. Links to them down below. Now on to the video. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Slim and you're watching Slimothy TV. In this video, I have a pretty cool one for you guys. Apple just released iOS 18 beta 4 to developers. And we're gonna talk about everything that's new. We're gonna talk about performance, battery life, heat, and if you guys should install it. So let's start off with the new features and the bugs. And this time our build number is ending with a J. So we are still pretty far in the beta cycle, not near a final release yet, obviously, but having a J that's one step up from I, which we were last time. So keep that in mind. There could be some bugs here, but overall, this feels a lot snappier than last time. Let's get into some of those new features. So first of all, like I mentioned, the smoothness of this beta just seems better than beta three. Uh, it's hard to quantify it exactly, but animations are better. And you'll see here in a minute when I talk about the Photos app. Let's talk about actual new features that they implemented. Uh, here is one in settings, and I am super happy they've done this. They have put back the personal hotspot toggle right here on the main page. Before you had to dig into cellular and then go to personal hotspot and toggle it on and off complete pain. I don't know why they did that in the first place, but now you can just click on personal hotspot and toggle it on or off much better than the way they had it. This is how it should be. And hopefully it stays this way. Next up here is for the hidden icons. So if you hide some of your apps, uh, they're going to go in this little folder. Now, instead of it being totally blank, like this one, you can see that dead space. They've actually added little icons of where apps could be. Uh, and it's kind of symbolizing the fact that they could be hidden right now. They might not. Uh, I really like this addition. I don't use the hidden app folder, but for those that do, this little addition will help you find the folder a little easier. Now, I mentioned the photos app a minute ago, and yes, it is a lot smoother when you are clicking on a photo, swiping between them. The animations are smoother and there's a lot less crashing. On beta three, I was getting a ton of crashing when I would try to click on people and pets or recent days for those folders completely crash every time but now everything, I haven't had a crash yet, and moving between photos is a lot smoother. So big thumbs up on the Photos app, at least with the revamp they've done. I still don't think the public is going to like the changes when iOS 18 goes live, but at least they're polishing it a little bit so it stops crashing. And the last bigger feature of this update is that you can now uh, select light mode and still have dark widgets if you want. Some people like that aesthetic, so now you have that option. All right, next up, let's talk about performance. Here was the Geekbench score I got directly after installing. So I did do a reboot, but the phone was still pretty warm at the time. So those are the numbers that we're looking at. Uh, pretty average, not the greatest, but not the worst either, especially with the phone being hot. So I think this is pretty middle of the road for a beta. Now heat after installing, honestly, it cooled off pretty quickly. Nothing scalding hot, no issues to report there. Battery life, it's too soon to tell, but so far it seemed pretty good. Not much to talk about there. Performance has been nice. Like I said, uh, everything's been pretty smooth on this beta so far. So overall, what's the verdict? Well, I'm gonna have a follow-up video most likely on this beta coming up very soon. So subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, but in the meantime, I think if you're on dev beta three or public beta one, you're gonna to wanna to get on this beta as soon as possible. Now, with that said, the public beta is not going to go live till likely next week. If you're on public beta one right now, you can just stay there. I kind of recommend that. I don't recommend a public beta going to developer beta because developer betas are a little riskier. Now there is a chance that the public beta comes out tomorrow, but we'll have to wait and see on that one. But yes, if you're on the older version of dev beta three, hop on dev beta four. There are a lot of bug fixes that I've noticed, a lot of crashing fixes. As I uncover more of those, they will be in the next update video. Anyways, if you like the video, hit with a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.